all the things that happened in 2020, the moment I'll remember the most fondly is when the javelina ran across Los Portales apartments in Tucson. Usually we see javelinas out in the wilderness or the desert, but these things were running right in the heart of Tucson. This is a busy street back here. Cars are going fast and that javelina was booking it. The only other time I've had an experience with a javelina, it wasn't good. I was about 17 years old, it was 11 o'clock at night, and I was driving with someone up in Cottonwood. And before we knew it, we saw some javelinas start getting closer to the car. And we didn't know anything about them, they looked like boars, but it freaked us out. And so we just drove away super fast. So seeing javelinas in this setting, where it was just one, having the time of its life, running about town, it just really changed my perspective on the animal. And uh, I really enjoyed that. The zoo was mostly closed this summer because of COVID. But even without people around, the animals were still there and they were still dealing with the heat, just like the rest of us. Throughout the year, we've had 145 days over 100 degrees. It was so bad that even animals at the Phoenix Zoo were doing what they could to try to stay cool. They were pushing around ice cubes, running through sprinklers, whatever they could just to cool down for a little bit. I'm very much a cat person, so even seeing a big old kitty just playing around with his ice cubes, his giant ice cubes, it was really cute. And I was glad that they were able to give them something fun and to help them not feel so stuffy in there. So for me, the highlight of 2020 was definitely Penis Man. We started seeing the writing of the word Penis Man like everywhere. Really, really quickly, it turned into almost like this folklore for the city. Like people were spotting it and posting it, and it caught on with some people even saying, you know, we are all Penis Man, and other people's following suit and doing their own tagging. This carried on for a couple months until ultimately the guy they believe was responsible for it was arrested. For me, it was one of those things where it's vandalism, which is bad not a hate symbol, it wasn't like a gang sign, it was literally just someone writing Venus Man. And to me, that was really like the only good thing of 2020, because after that, COVID hit. So it was our one last thing of joy.